Welcome to Legacy Week GX Edition, a week where I will be revisiting six of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX most epic sets released between the years 2006 to 2008. Each day I will open one of these epic sets, starting with Shadow of Infinity and ending with Light of Destruction and a first edition blister pack. Every day I will also include a giveaway with some epic cards. Which set has what it takes to earn the title of Legacy Week GX Champion? You will just have to watch to find out. All right, guys, we're back with day four of Legacy Week GX Edition. I mean, the first three days, we, it's gonna be hard to live up to them. They've all been incredible. Today, we have Phantom Darkness for about half the packs and then Duelist Pack Chaz. Unfortunately, I didn't have a ton of Phantom Darkness, so we are gonna do a lot of Chaz, but Chaz is a cool set as well that we have not, we only opened two packs of it so far, so that'll be cool. I know a lot of people like the Duelist Packs. This is a perfect way to mix in some crazy potential with some cool Duelist Pack stuff. Before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Brianak. We have the Ubel Terror Incarnate and Armageddon Knight, a couple of Phantom Darkness cards. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below which will be the best set in Legacy Week and what has been your favorite so far. And I have hiccups during that entire thing. Let's just let's just move on. Don't forget to check out the other three videos from Legacy Week before you watch this one because there will be spoilers on how well we did. So go check out the playlist. I have the three videos from before this. Let's keep going. Let's go to Duelist Pack, Chaz Princeton. We've got some pretty amazing stuff going on in these openings so far. And if we can keep that up, I feel like this will be the hardest one because there's less Phantom Darkness packs. Uh, and tomorrow we're of course finishing with Light of Destruction, which I have a bunch of those and I have a first head blister. So it's gonna be really, really cool. So I'm super pumped to end it off. Oh no, I'm dropping the cards. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's a sign, who knows? We have the strategy card number nine, Chithonian Palmer, Ojama Black, Chithonian Alliance. We have Arm Dragon level three and BWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. Same card we pulled uh, in yesterday's video, actually. So interesting there. We only have eight Phantom Darkness, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sparse with those. I'm gonna go at those very slowly because they are really, really epic. Let's go to the next pack. There's a checklist, so we could go through the checklist like we have Jaden, who knows? We might we might do that. I do have a couple of the cards we pulled yesterday, so we might include those. We have Armored Dragon level five, Chithonian Palmer. It's gonna be harder because we have less packs here. X Head, we have Chithonian Blast. And Oja Muscle, very cool. All right, first Phantom Darkness pack. So far, we have not pulled a foil. We've only opened chats. This is our first Phantom Darkness. We've opened a couple of these in other videos. Uh, if you guys have missed the vintage openings in the last, usually on Thursdays before the whatnot streams I do them, uh, they have not been like crazy viewed or anything. So a lot of you guys have probably missed them. So go check them out. Uh, there was a lot of old school pack. Like, a lot of the stuff you've seen in GX week was open on those videos, just like kind of a mix of them. So go check those out. Let's keep it going. Let's pull, I've never pulled a Dark Arm Dragon uh, Seeker Rare. That'd be pretty amazing, obviously. That would be a big hit. One, two, okay, look at this card. This card's got a little ding on it. That's fine. Four from the back should be fine. We have a Darius, very cool for Gladiator Beast. We're gonna pull that out for our Edison stuff. We have Magnetic Mosquito, Rux's Special, Fire Trooper. Been doing good about not doing too many of those because I've been taking my time a little bit. Gemini Trap Hole, Imprisoned Queen Archfiend, The Immortal Bushi, Black Velocity, and... All that attacks, one more card, don't worry, don't worry. Gadgets. Okay, we've got the Aztecapede, Aztecapede, the Warm Warrior. All right, rare. Okay, Aztecapede, weird. Not the best card that we're, you know, really not a card we're looking for at all. We're not looking for the Aztecapede. Pretty interesting, it's an insect. I do like my insects. I gotta be careful because my throat's already messed up. Probably don't need to be doing that. Uh, no more Weevil for now. We have a strategy card number one, Arm Dragon level five. Can we get a foil out of Chaz? We got a lot of foils out of Jaden the other day, so let's see if we can do it with Chaz. Super Rux is special, that's all right. We have Oja Jama King, Oja King. And oh, in the Arm Dragon level seven, let's go. Okay, I think this is the one with Arm Dragon level 10. We should probably look at the checklist real quick. Super rare, that is beautiful. I might grade this card. I think I'm gonna grade this card. Let's just go ahead and put it in a card saver. I've really been back on my grind of just trying to find like any card that's gradable, like, you know, that's relatively cool or classic, like Arm Dragon level seven, even though it's not super expensive, probably like a $2 card. But as a PSA graded card, it's like actually a really cool slab. That I've kind of been like keeping an eye out for cards like this. So doing, been doing pretty good about that. Let's see, uh, checklist. Let's see what else we can get out of here. There should be two ultras. So one of them maybe level 10. Um, maybe not actually. What is the ultra? So look for the U. It's a uh, ring of defense. Okay, that's kind of stupid. Arm oh, there it is, level 10. How did I miss that? It was right next to level 10. What is wrong with me? Okay, so it is in here. So we really don't want a ring of defense. That's pretty lame. Let's try to pull something cooler than that. First edition. 
keep it up. I mean, Arm Dragon level seven, that's a pretty cool super rare. I'll take that. I will take that all day. Chaz, let's keep it up with the Chaz. All right, like that. We've got the uh, strategy card number four, W Wing Catapult. By the way, I did put up the uh, full Jaden common rare and uh, strategy card set on my website, ruxlet4.com. So go check that out if you want it. Uh, there's only one set. So first come, first serve. We have Ujama Yellow and Oja Magic. So starting us off, Jaden's doing okay. That's doing okay. Let's make Phantom Darkness turn it around because so far they are 0 for 1. We get a Darius though, which is a pretty cool common. But uh, other than that, you know, not, not too crazy. The Azteca P is not that awesome, I guess. Here we go, day four. Let's keep the amazing pulls we've had in Legacy Week GX Edition alive. We have Transmigration Break. We have Gladiator Proving Ground. I know that's a good card. Unleash your power. Wind Effigy. Let's get that Secret Rare Dark Armed Dragon. I would also take Dark Grapher. I'd be okay with that. Eventual Shinobi. There's ultis in here as well. And there is there is a ghost. I always forget there's a ghost. Rainbow Neos. That'd be really awesome as well. Armored Cybern. And a hate buster. Busting that hate. Haters, you've been busted. Kind of like the name of that. That's kind of cool. All right. Keep it going. I, I know I say, I, I just realize I'm saying all right way too often. Like I, I say it, I'm like, man, again, you're really saying all right again, but you don't really realize it so you start watching yourself, you know, like back and you're like, really? You said it again for the seventh time. Like, you got to chill out with that. Strategy card number five, we have Ojama Black. Ojama Delta Hurricane. Ojama Trio. This is the Ojama pack. Okay, I'm dragging level three. Leveling up to level 10. Here we go. Okay, the Grave of Enkindling. It's a super rare. Uh, I have no idea what this card does. You only activate this card when a monster on your side of the field is destroyed as a result of battle and sent to the graveyard. You and your opponent each select one from your respective graveyard special summon in, in defense. Neither monster or special summon can change its battle position while face upon the field except with a card effect. That seems really strange. So a card, your card has to be destroyed as a result of battle, so very specific. Then you both special summon from your graveyard defense and you can't change it. That's pretty weird. <laughs> Pretty interesting card there, uh, but yeah, that's old school cards for you, especially GX, man. They made some terrible cards in GX. They're like, you know what? Look, we just had the OG. We're gonna make GX suck. How about that? Well, then, then eventually they got to, well, really, they got to Phantom Darkness. They're like, you know what? Let's make some good cards. <laughs> Let's make some cards that are really good. How about that? Let's turn it around. All right, four from the back. We have the Magnetic Mosquito. Destroy all machine time monsters face up on the field. Actually, I feel like this was a dueling side deck card at one point. Uh, Gemini Trap Hole, Spell Chronicle. Gladiator Beast, Archfiend's Shield, Prison Queen Archfiend, the Immortal Bushi, Black Velasi, and we have all out attacks, and we have Super Poly. I forgot this is a rare in here. Okay, Super Polymerization is not a bad card at all. I'll take that. Very solid rare. I mean, that used to be like big money for the rare, but probably not as much anymore with all the reprints it's had, but still pretty good rare if you're if you're gonna get a rare. We really don't want rares though. We want something big out of Phantom Darkness. Though Chaz Princeton may have to carry us in this one. We'll see. We have strategy guard number six, Ojama Delta Hurricane, Ojama Black, Ojama Green. Arm Dragon level three is always the fourth card and We've got the Infernal Incinerator. I remember, I think I had, I had this card from somewhere. It might have, I think it was Shadow Infinity. Is that where it first came out? I remember just looking at that card all the time and like, is this good? And it's like, no, it's terrible. All right, we're down to how many packs do we have? Four of those. So we got to open a Phantom Darkness. So we're just going back and forth from the rest of the way. Back and forth, Phantom Darkness, Chaz Princeton. Let's pull something big for the Chaz. All right, one, two, three, four from the back. We have Sinister Seeds. That feels like a Pokemon item. Gladiator Beast and Doll, the weird Gladiator Beast that's a normal. Double Tag Team, Dark Crusader, Dark Effigy, Alchemy Cycle, Blue Thunder, T45. <laughs> that name is hilarious. Uh, Samsara Lotus and Hate Buster, busting that hate. You know what I want to bust? Is these packs and pull something good. Okay, that <laughs> that question probably shouldn't have been phrased that way. Okay, uh, Duelist Pack Chats, let's just keep moving on. Okay, let's just keep going. Nothing was said. Just opening packs. That's all we're doing. That's the only thing that we'll be busting today. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. You got that. All right. Let's keep going. GX with V Tiger, W Wing, Ojama King, Chathonian Alliance, and Infernal Incinerator. Okay, Chaz. Look, Chaz. We're going to need some better pulls than this. All right. Seven packs left. I mean, this is definitely going to be our worst opening so far in terms of like high rarity. We have gotten a Arm Dragon level seven. So that's cool. Other than that, we've got nothing. So Phantom Darkness, it's time for you to get us a Dark Arm Dragon and make this an amazing opening. Acidic Downpour, we have Sea Koala, Vengeful Shinobi from Naruto. We have Alchemy Cycle. I can't pull the cards. Gemini Lancer, Gladiator's Proving Ground, cool. 
Cybernetic hidden technology. We have Destiny Hero departed. We will depart from our bodies when we pull Dark Arm Dragon right here. Okay, Legendary Fiend. Why? Something about this guy. Why does he seem so familiar? He seems like he's more of an old school card for some reason. I don't I don't know. I mean, it is old, 2008, but it feels like it's older than that. Six packs left. We still need something big. Maybe Arm Dragon level 10? Maybe? We can do it. Best card in the set, five bucks, I think. I posted a short of it recently when we pulled it a while back and it was like five bucks. And I was like, this is the best card in the set. Uh, it used to be big. It used to be like 80 bucks or something before it got a reprint. And I think Ghost from the Past 2 or maybe Ghost from the Past 1. We have Armed Changer and then it got like three other reprints. Chthonian Palmer, Ojama Yellow, Ojama Green and Ojama Muscle. Okay, okay, okay. Phantom Darkness, now's your time. Not like now, right now is your time. Like we, we only have five packs left. We need something big. Uh, is this gonna be our first crash and burn opening of a Legacy Week GX edition? It could be, it could be. I mean, that's that could happen. It would make sense because there were only eight Phantom Darkness packs here. All right, Dimension Explosion, Imprisoned Queen Archfiend, The Immortal Bushi, Black Velocity, Transmigration Break, Sinister Seeds. They raise your special defense when in sinister terrain. Uh, Gladiator Beast and all. <laughs> Double tag team. That was a, that was a stupid joke. And uh, the Exactipede. No. <laughs> Not the Aztecapede. I can't even say the name. Come on. It's coming out of the wire. Four packs left in this opening, guys. Uh, yeah, make sure you check out the other GX week videos if you haven't seen them because they were a little bit more exciting than this so far, but maybe this is going to end exciting. All right, first edition Chaz. Don't forget to check out Ruxa34.com to support me when I'm taking L's on these openings, like right now. This is a big L. <laughs> so help me out. Go check out that. Uh, you check out Patreon. We have a Patreon account. You guys can gra uh, grab. You guys can check that out over or in the link in the description, not over there. Okay, checklist. W Wing Catapult. We have Ojama Black. X Head Cannon. Ojama King. He's got the little thumbs up. He's like, let's go, buddy. And... VW Tiger Catapult. Yeah, okay. I see how it is, Chaz. Only three packs remain. Phantom Darkness, Phantom Darkness, and Chaz. <sighs> so far, two foils. I don't think Phantom Darkness has had one. It's been two foils out of Chaz. Zero out of Phantom Darkness. We've opened six Phantom Darkness so far. 0 for 6. Means that we're due. That's what that means, right? We're due. We're going to pull something crazy. It's going to be a secret rare dad. Fire Trooper. We have Gemini Trap Hole. Come on, guys. Send me the luck. We have Gladiator Beast and all. <sighs> Departed. The Immortal Bushi. All out attacks. Mirage Tube. Cyber Ouroboros. And we have a future samurai. No, we don't want anything in the future. We want it now. All right, Chaz. Chess, last chance to get the dark, uh, dark arm drag. The arm dragon level 10. Let's do this. All right, one, two. Uh, we have the strategy card number one, Rux and Special. V Tiger Jet. Arm dragon level five. XA Can't Man Jaden. We pulled a lot more foils. Jethonian Alliance. And XYZ Dragon Cannon. All right, more of the same. All right, guys, shh, don't tell anybody else on Legacy Week. Don't tell any other packs. We still have four other Chaz packs I'm going to open for this last fan of Darkness, okay? I want to open these up because I had four extra because I was trying to make the numbers similar. These will not count toward the score, okay? But we want to see if we can get at least a pull, okay? The fan of Darkness still will count, obviously, because it's, you know, we just need to bring a little bit of momentum before we get into that last pack. All right, strategy card seven. We have Ojama Delta. Let's try to get that level 10. Chthonian Blast, Ojama Green. XYZ Dragon Gate. Same card. Same exact card. Okay. I wanted to open these up. I was like, ah, it just feels weird not opening them up. So we're going to open them up. We're going to throw them in here. Because like Light of Destruction, I should say. I always want to say Legacy of Darkness. That is not in GX. Uh, that art had enough packs. It had like nine, it had 20 packs total with the first dead. So there was enough Light of Destruction. Arm Changer. We have Ar Arm Dragon. Ojama Green. XI Can. And Oja Magic. So these are not exactly helping. They're just making our ratio worse. Unless we pull something big here. I could turn it around. I think total will have opened. I think we had 10. So this will be 14 Chaz packs. 14 Chaz packs. We have had two foils so far. We still have two left though. So it's out of 12. So it's two out of 12. We have Chilean and Palmer. Three out of 14. It'll sound a lot better. Ojama King. Ojama Yellow. And level modulation. Okay. All right. All right. Two for 13. Not, I mean, not the best. That's for sure. Two for 13 is not great. But how, maybe three for 14. How about that? Three for 14 right here. Gotta believe one, two. Oh, I forgot to put that at the front. I was like, something seems weird here. All right. Strategy card number four, Ojama Delta Hurricane, V Tiger Jet, Ojama Trio, 
Ojama Yellow, and the Grave of Enkindling. Okay, two of the same super. This really awesome card, Grave of Enkindling. Yeah, okay, so Chaz, a little bit of crash and burn there for the Chaz. I don't even think you would count that one anyway, it's probably not a dollar. Last pack magic, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for the last day of Legacy Week GX Edition. There'll be more cool stuff coming up in the future, such as next week when we're doing the brand new set, Battles of Legend, whatever, whatever, I can't remember the name because, you know, I just can't keep up. But it's gonna be super fun. There's some cool reprints I saw in there. Substito got the Secret Rare, so we now have a Light of Destruction reprint and that, kind of weird. Okay, let's go, let's keep it up. Last pack magic, Phantom Darkness. Make sure to check out Ruxa34.com if you haven't already. A lot of available cards, etc., on there. Let it be Darius. We'll take that. Great start. Magnetic Mosquito. We have Fire Trooper. Gemini Trap. Oh, please, Phantom Darkness. Don't go 0 for 8. Regenerating Rose. A Cyber Ouroboros. Rainbow Veil. Oh, wait. That was four for the bow. And a rare. Wait, what? Do you get rares and foils in there? Is that an error or does that normally happen in Phantom Darkness? Did they start that in Phantom Darkness? I don't think they did. We'll take it, an ultra rare beginning of the end. Check out that black square, guys. Who enjoys the black square? Okay, look, as you can see, if you look in the right light, it's not just a black square, but if you look at it straight on, it looks like a black square, which is pretty interesting. So, hey, a foil's a foil, I'll take it. Way to end it, it's not, I mean, it's not a crazy card or anything. Beginning of the end, maybe that's, Beginning of the end of GX Legacy Week. The end's tomorrow. This is the beginning because it's the end of this video. The beginning of tomorrow. Well, getting on tomorrow, which is the end of Legacy Week GX Edition. So very prophetic right there. Pretty interesting. Uh, I'll take it. Don't forget to check out the other videos from Legacy Week GX Edition. They're on the screen right now. Shout out to Toll Info Show, Ernesto Diana, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F. Changeling, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.